So now that we know what Next.js is, and now that we at least have a first idea um, of why we might want to use Next.js, let's get started with it and let's create a first Next.js project. For this, we just need to run one simple command in the end, this command here, but to run this command, we need to have Node.js installed. Now we're not going to write any Node.js code, at least not right now. We will write some basic code later, but we'll not write it right now. But Node.js ships together with the Node Package Manager, which is an extra tool, which is the de facto standard tool for installing and managing libraries in JavaScript projects. And we will use that tool to create the next project and that created next project under the hood will also need Node.js to execute. Uh, for example, for that built-in server-side rendering, that uses Node.js under the hood. And for all those reasons, we need to install Node.js. And for that, you can simply visit Node.js.org. And from that page, you can install the latest version of Node.js, whatever that version is when you're viewing that. Just install the latest version, simply click on there and download Node.js. It is available for all major operating systems and then walk through that installer once that download finished. Now, once you have Node.js installed, you are ready to run this command. And therefore, we can now go to the terminal to your regular command prompt, which is built into your operating system. And there you can CD and navigate into the folder where you want to create your next project and then simply run this command npx create dash next dash app. Run this command by hitting enter and this will now create a new next project in that folder where you ran that command. Now you might be prompted to confirm that um, you're installing extra packages and hence I will confirm this here. And now this will temporarily install the create next app tool and then start creating that project. Now for this, we first of all need to give this project a name and I'll just use next.js-course here as a name, but you can of course pick any name you want. Hit enter and now this project will be created here and it will set up a base folder for that project and install all the core dependencies this project will need. Now once it's done, you can run the commands shown here to start your development server, but I will not yet do that here. Instead, I now opened this project in Visual Studio Code, the IDE, the editor I'm going to use in this course. Now you don't have to use Visual Studio Code. It is a great IDE for web development though. It's completely free and it's amazing, but you can use whatever your favorite web development IDE is. If you do want to use the same editor as I do here though, you can visit code.visualstudio.com and from there you can download Visual Studio Code. It is available for all major operating systems. Simply download the installer and walk through it. And once you have downloaded and installed it, you can open that Next.js course folder, which we created with the command here in the terminal with Visual Studio Code. Now here I'm using the dark theme. You can change this under preferences color theme. Here I am using the dark plus theme. And I also adjusted the appearance. You can do that under view appearance and simply adjust it as you want. And for example, show or hide the status bar. I'm hiding it, uh, but that is something you can configure however you want. Now regarding extensions, that's a great feature of Visual Studio Code. You can install extensions there. And the only extension that I'm using here and that I recommend that you install is the Prettier extension. You can simply search for Prettier here. And that's an extension that will help you with code formatting. So with automatically transforming your code to look cleaner and to be more uh, formatted and structured. Once you installed that extension, you just need to make sure that you go to your keyboard shortcuts and there search for format document and make sure that you have that shortcut set up because that's a shortcut which I will press all the time, which will then auto format my code and use prettier. 
and to make sure that I do use Prettier under Preferences Settings in your user or workspace, so project specific settings. You can also search for format and make sure that under default formatter, you do pick prettier here. Here it is. So with that all set up, you will have the same setup as I do. And that is the setup I will use in this course. That is the setup we will use throughout all the lectures. And it is the setup which we'll now use to dig a bit deeper into this project we just created. So we did create that Next.js project here in the terminal with npx create next app. And that gave us a folder which looks like this, which has this kind of content. Attached, you also find that starting project in case it changes over time or looks slightly different because the starting template was changed, for example. So attached, you find that exact project snapshot which I have here. If you do download the attached snapshot though, there is one extra step you need to go through. You need to open the terminal and you can use the one built into Visual Studio Code, which is your default terminal, your default command prompt, which ships with your operating system, just already integrated into Visual Studio Code and conveniently also already navigated into this project folder. So any commands you run here will execute in the context of your project folder. And here you then need to run npm install if you use that attached snapshot, because that will then install all the dependencies of this project as defined here in package.json and store them and their dependencies in the node modules folder. So that's also a folder in which will never work. The three important folders for us here are pages, public and styles, though pages is by far the most important one. Styles, as you might guess, holds some style files. We can ignore that for now. We'll work on that soon. And public simply holds public resources our page might use, something like images, for example. Now, one thing you might see here in public, though, is that unlike in a regular React app, which you, for example, created with create react app with that extra tool that there in a standard react app, you have a index HTML file in the public folder here in the next JS app. You don't have that. And the reason for this is that next JS has this built in pre rendering. And whilst it gives you a single page application, that single page is dynamically pre rendered when a request reaches the server so that you do return an initial page with content. That is what I talked about earlier in this course as well, this server-side rendering and the pre-rendering of pages. And hence for us, the pages folder will be the most important folder because that is where we will set up that file-based routing. And that is there for the folder, which is important for us to define the different pages that should make up our application here. 